decides which end it's taken from and who goes first. Again, for Alexander Dominguez. Doesn't have many of these moments left. 37 years old. A stage like this. This is perhaps his chance to etch his name into Copa America lore. Emmy Martinez has already done that in this tournament and on the World Cup stage. It will be Argentina to take first. It will be Lionel Messi to take first. He took first and scored against the Netherlands in the World Cup quarterfinal in 2022. He took first and scored in the World Cup final against France. Both times he just strolled up laconically, waited for the goalkeeper to roll the wrong way and rolled it the opposite direction. What will he do now at 37 years old? 108 goals for Argentina and 185 appearances. Nothing left to achieve, nothing left to win, but he still wants more. His team need him as they start this shootout. It is Lionel Messi, and he chipped it off the bar, onto the roof, he missed. Incredible. It was again the call brought up at the clip, but this time he put too much underneath it. Instead of rolling it on the deck like he did twice in the World Cup, he clipped it up in the air and put too much air under it. Early advantage to Ecuador. Can they capitalize? It's on Beta to step up first for them. Now Argentina need Emmy Martinez. Saved by Martinez. He does it again. He read Mano like a book. Went the right way. It's at a comfortable height. Still a good save. Argentina right back in it. Now Julian Alvarez. Hasn't scored in his last 16 appearances. And scores here. Dominguez went the right way, but Alvarez put it perfectly in the top corner. 1-0 Argentina in the shootout. take them much better than that. Anything less than perfect, and Dominguez would have saved it. Alan Minda next for Ecuador. Scored against Jamaica from open play. Very different scenario here. Minda versus Martinez. Martinez again. Again, it's a right. Saved it with his left. And then did the dance. Those in Albi Celeste dancing along with him so far. One nil Argentina through two frames. And now Alexis McAllister. The underrated parts of his team's spine. Slams it into the corner. 2 0 Argentina. The 
prayers were answered, at least from their standpoint. Another perfect penalty, side netting. Opened up his body and set the keeper the wrong way. Mm. Well, it's not That's completely a must make for Ecuador, but it basically is. It's John Yoboa who steps up. He assisted their equalizing goal lead. He keeps the minute here. Great penalty. 2 1 after three frames. It's almost too much for some. This time, Martinez went the wrong way. Wouldn't have mattered. Gonzalo Montiel scored the World Cup winning penalty in 2022. Then he scored the Europa Cup winning penalty in 2023. And Montiel scores another one here. The penalty king put on right before the full time whistle just to take that penalty. Rewards Lionel Scaloni for that decision. And Argentina are on the brink of the semifinal. A very relieved man so far. Ecuador had to make this. It's basically triple match point for Argentina in tennis terms. They would have to miss their last. Ecuador would have to make their last two in order to force extra frames. Jordi Caicedo on as a late substitute. Sado mm -hmm. has to score. He does. Just barely. Martinez got something on it. Couldn't keep it out. 3 2. Felix Sanchez. On his side. And that man, their hopes still alive by a thread. Let's see how close Emmy Martinez came to getting this the right way. It just came off the top of his left knee, didn't it? But now, a chance to win it for Nico Odomendi, 36 years old. Second most senior member of this squad behind Lionel Messi. Odomendi to send them to the semifinals. He does! Argentina prevail! Push to the absolute break for Ecuador, but the champions do enough. They're on to the Copa America semifinals. Martinez is a shootout hero again, saving those first two penalties. Nicholas Otamendi, another who came on late. And Lionel Messi, relieved. It does not turn out like the 2016 final in the Copa America Centenario in the United States, where Messi missed early in that shootout and his teammates couldn't prevail. This time, this time, they did. Mendy slamming it into the corner. Another perfect penalty. Again, Dominguez went the right way. Couldn't do anything about it. Not reaching that. And even though Messi missed, Argentina's overall experience in these situations showed over the rest of the shootout. And Lionel Scaloni, a subdued celebration. Kiss planted forcefully on his cheek. He knows his team will have to improve a lot in the semifinal. But again, they've made it work tonight. It's the mark of champions. They hope it's the mark of a future repeat champion. 
heartbreak for Ecuador, who did so much tonight, got the late equalizer that they probably deserved, and then they had the chance to win it late, and it was that man who had the chance. It's an agonizing end to the night for Jordi Caicedo, who missed that opportunity in the final minute of stoppage time, that free header on the penalty spot, and then had his penalty go in in the shootout, but still not enough for his team. This crowd of 72,000, mostly in Albi Celeste. Roaring their heroes on to the next round. They're having to sweat this one out. Ecuador will hope this is just the beginning for them. Such a young team, so much promise, so much talent that they are accumulating. Again, for Alexander Dominguez, not sure how many more of these he'll have. He knows it. Valiant effort by all of those. It may be blue and gold tonight. Felix Sanchez, again, has faced some criticism. Some fans not liking his style of play that he brought with him last year, but certainly had his team set up ideally tonight to frustrate the defending champs, to frustrate the world champions, and almost shock them on the Copa America stage. In just a moment, we'll hear from players on both teams. We'll see our final statistics, final match highlights before we say goodnight from Houston. It ended in 90 minutes tonight, Argentina 1, Ecuador 1. In the penalty shootout, it ended Argentina 4, Ecuador 2. Argentina to the semifinals.